Oh, another fantastic start there from Ethan. As he fires it into the first turn, Anthony Carroll in the second place. Simon Dixon there for third. Lee Holmes, the next one through. And then right behind him, James Irvine, as they uh, head their way down into gum trees. Most of them fire on through. So back round they come on this uh, longer 10 lap event. So we'll let them settle in for this one. So head their way down through that far section already, Ethan, just starting to uh, get a break on the field. Anthony Carroll and Simon Dixon still uh, going for it at the moment. Simon on the little 250. Though so Ethan fires it onto the front straight away. Anthony Carroll there in second place. Still uh, Simon Dixon there for third. Fourth place coming through Lee Holmes and James Irvine rounding out the top five at the moment. under the bridge once again, head their way through Rebecca Pierce, first time out here, fires her way through, she's been going very well, always improving at times that's good to see, it's getting a little bit quicker each time She heads away under the bridge. Had a bit of a chat with the, the team last night around the fire. It was, um, from what I can remember, we had a great time, I think. <laughs> That's all good. <laughs> Gotta love camping. <laughs> so back around comes our race leaders once again, Ethan Olden, Anthony Carroll and Simon Dixon as they fire their way into turns one and two. James Irvine, Gary Dixon, Mick Train and Kieran McGowan, that uh, next bunch of riders through. And in very close company indeed now as they go through. A few uh, laps remaining there. Once again, uh, Michael Roche and Jared Purcell having a, uh, a great little battle. They uh, were uh, dicing it out throughout the day yesterday as well. And good to see him back in close company again today. Things starting to get a little bit closer there for second, third and fourth place. Lee Holmes on the uh, Kawasaki now moving up right behind Simon Dixon as they go down into uh, Siberia. 
They all get uh, around Rebecca Pierce. She holds the line doing the best thing. So a few laps remaining in this one now as they uh, all head their way through. Michael Carlson into the 35s now, so uh, he'd be enjoying it. He had a ball yesterday, really enjoyed it. Saw him yesterday afternoon after racing and uh, he couldn't get the smile off his face. He's uh, been having a good old time out there. But uh, where the action is there now is the second, third and fourth place. Ethan Olden comes onto the front straight away very nicely. Here comes uh, Lee Holmes now on the 400 Kawasaki. Just moves up into third place there now. Just in front of Simon. But, uh, Simon a bit of a demon under brakes. But they uh, head their way into turns one and two. Make their way up the hill. So Lee Holmes on a charge there at the moment as they head their way down into uh, gum trees. And he lines up behind Carol there now and make their way down into Siberia ok back round they go now into Cops and uh, it looks like Lee Holmes is uh, all over the back of Carroll and I'm pretty sure he's just made the pass down through that fast section as they head their way down into Kangaroo Corner so we'll see what uh, pans out in this one but um, Ethan Olden onto the front straight away he's got the, uh, the fastest lap of the race at a 128.41 at the moment and now up into second place is Lee Holmes and starting to get a break on uh, Anthony Carroll now as he heads his way down turns one and two then it's back to Anthony Carroll and Simon Dixon and go through in there within a lonely old fifth is James Irvine, Gary Dixon and Kieran McGowan. The next couple on 250s having a, uh, a good old battle there. And uh, that position is for 6th and 7th on the track. So back around they come now at half race distance. The 777 bike there of Michael Webb into the 34s and he's back there in ninth place and Michael Carson rounding out the top 10 as he goes through Jared Purcell in there as well Michael Roach the next one through Mick Train having a, uh, a good go at it this time out there with a, a 136 3 so uh, he's trying to uh, track down Kieran McGowan in that one Rebecca Pierce there going very well. She's knocked off about five seconds a lap since she's um, been going around. Down into the 204s at the moment. So uh, that's basically all she has to do. Just improve a little bit each time she goes out. Gary Dixon and Kieran McGowan still battling it out with Mick Train just in there behind them. Michael Webb down the front straight away. And Michael Carlson just in there behind him. So they're on their sixth lap at the moment. Next time around there'll be uh, three laps remaining in this one.
49 by going through Benjamin Stevens. He's down into the uh, the 40s now. So once again, he's uh, been going a little bit quicker. Rebecca Pierce there, a 10467. So once again, improving just a little bit each lap. So three laps remaining now in this uh, Formula Four event. for our race leader now Ethan Olden quickest lap of the race at 28.40 for him he's got about a three second gap over Lee Holmes at the moment so they head their way out of Kangaroo Corner make their way onto the front straight away well Lee Holmes is slowly reeling him in the gap was three seconds on the last lap now it's less than a second so uh, he is running very quick he's running about a second a lap quicker there he's just set the quickest lap of the race at a 127 2 1 so we'll see what happens there they've got a slower rider just in front and Holmes there just with them at the moment as they come out of gum trees they both get around that uh, back rounder now and Holmes starting to get really close now to Ethan Alden and now he's on him so it's going to be a dice to the end here as they go through the left hander at seven be interesting to see if Lee can uh, pick up on Ethan here they've uh, he is running at least a second quicker a lap so he's got to be able to do something here as he has a look at him down through the far section through turn nine Oop, rider off the track there at the end of the straight pulls it up nicely and will rejoin the race So that rider comes back around. It was Michael Carson, I think. Good effort there to pull it up. So he gets back on track. No drama at all. Race leaders now on their final lap as they head their way up the hill. And it is very close indeed. Ethan Olden out there in front of Lee Holmes now. Holmes heads his way down into... gum trees and he makes the pass this time through the left hander at five so Holmes now moves up into the lead rider off down the bottom down there I'm not sure what the story is there might have been Michael Carlson once again just pulling it up so he's obviously got some sort of a drama there So they head their way down through the far section now, our race leaders, nothing between the two. A good ride coming here for Lee Holmes on the Kawasaki. We'll see what happens now as they head their way down through that far section in the kangaroo corner. Back out of kangaroo and up the hill, it's still pretty close indeed. Checkered flag goes out. And what have we got here? Lee Holmes takes the win. Ethan Olden, second place, Anthony Carroll, Simon Dixon.